Who would have known there are so many flag colors in Formula One? But not only that, some of them are even disappearing. I know. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. With you, Manana Manutu, and today I bring for you, uh, well, it's not a new video. I've actually spoken about this before. It's the Formula One flags and meanings because I just find it so important for us to understand them. We see them on TV. For those of us who have had the opportunity to go to a race, we can see it in a race. But do we actually know what each Formula One flag means? Or why do they even bring them out having so much technology? A little fun fact is that there are a few Formula One flags that might disappear in not such a long time. But you're gonna have to watch this video to find out. So yes, the reason why I decided to talk about this again it's because there's more and more Formula One fans by the minute. I know, Formula One is becoming a category that is so popular, up to the point in which, I mean, we need to know not only about engineering, the drivers, and the teams, as well as the calendar, but we also need to know about a bit more technical stuff, as would be the tires and the flags. The tires, I'm not the biggest expert, but for the flags, I had the opportunity to become a pit marshal officer. And so we obviously had to know what each and every single flag meant. If any of you guys want to know how you can become a pit marshal officer or a marshal in general, be sure to watch this video or this video, either side. But there I give you a few tips on how to become a marshal and I mean, it must be a little bit different in every country, but then there must be a lot of similarities as well. So be sure to watch the video and find out a little bit more. But moving on to the flags, shall we? The most common flag that we see is a yellow flag, and this can mean either danger or hazard on track, meaning that something happened not strong enough to stop a race, but a safety car could actually come out after this. Then we have a really easy flag, and this one might be one of my favorites just because it's so easy. So the green flag means racing conditions available, but it also means start. So for example, what can happen is that anytime there's a yellow flag, you need to bring out the green flag afterwards, just to let the drivers and everybody know that the racing conditions are back on track. Okay, so the red flag. This means session suspended or postponed and every single driver has to come back to pits. When there's a red flag, it can be after a really serious accident in which they have to put the race on pause and they just simply, every single driver goes back to pits or it can also be because of rain or some sort of accident. But it can also mean that the race got canceled. Then the next two flags are kind of related. The blue flag is shown to slower cars. It means that a faster car is approaching and once you see as a driver the blue flag, you need to let the driver behind you, let him overtake you. As in for the white flag, it's quite the contrary. If you're the faster driver, they can show you the white flag, which means that there's a slower car ahead. So you obviously have to be careful. But then it can also mean something as simple as that there's a medical car on the track. Black flag means disqualification. So the driver is automatically out if we see a black flag. Very dramatic. So the yellow and red stripes flag, visually this one is probably my favorite or one of my top two favorites, but this one means that there's something slippery on the track, which could be water, oil, or even debris. Then this one is a flag that might be disappearing very shortly because we don't really see it on track or at a race unless the driver is having any technical issues with the radio. But the black flag with the orange circle in the center means that a driver is having mechanical issues with their car and they have to return to pits to check the car and decide whether they just repair it or they take it out of the race. Then we have a black and white flag and this one is shown for unsportsmanlike behavior. This one, I, I think we actually saw it last season. This flag is very funny because it's not shown that much, but it comes out occasionally from season to season. I don't really think we see one every single season, but 
it comes out. And then the one that we all know and we love so much, the obvious flag, which is a checkered flag. This one means end of race. And yeah, this one is shown once the first driver reaches end of the race. And then, I mean, it just keeps on going until every single driver kind of crosses that finish line and they're done with the race. So what do you guys think? Are there any flags that surprised you with the meaning? Are there any flags that are new for you? And if not, which one is your favorite flag visually? Please mention it down below. Don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe to my channel. And of course, see you again next week on another episode of A Girl Talks Formula One.